name is Michelle Norley. I'm a core maintainer on the Helm project and a software engineer at Microsoft. If you're not already familiar, Helm is a Kubernetes package manager. It's like apt, yum, or homebrew, but for your Kubernetes cluster. With Helm, you can install, manage, and share packages of Kubernetes configuration in a package configuration called charts. I've been fortunate enough to be able to have been part of this project from the very beginning. So, the size of this audience is amazing to me. I remember strolling in to the very first KubeCon in 2015 with a few hundred other people. Um, with a few hundred other people, uh, where we launched the very first version of Helm, what we now call Helm Classic. And this was all of the people that were running Kubernetes in production at the time. <laughs> and the term cloud native wasn't even a thing yet. But look at us now. The cloud native community has come so far and so has the Helm community. We had our very first Helm summit back in February. Almost 200 people showed up mostly end users and contributors. In June, we joined the CNCF uh, as a top level incubating project. I completely freaked out when I saw Helm going into the CF, CNCF as a TechCrunch article. I had never expected that and I was like, wait a minute y'all, we made it, this is it, this is awesome. I continue to be so in awe and humbled by the community that has grown around the Helm project and also how much we've matured as a project. As part of the transition to CNCF, we organized our own governance model to set Helm up for stable, long-term, healthy growth. That included having two types of project maintainers. We have project maintainers for each repo in the Helm GitHub org, but we also have a subset of those project maintainers who serve as Helm org maintainers. Org maintainers are responsible for higher level and cross-cutting decision making. So let's get to the good stuff. We just launched the Helm Hub, which can be found at hub.helm.sh. The Helm Hub lets you search and discover charts from across multiple chart repositories. We've seen an unprecedented number of charts being developed, and we wanted a way for people to be able to search charts, uh, not only from the community repositories, but also from vendors and third parties who speci specialize in deploying certain kinds of applications to Kubernetes. If you're an individual or an organization that is interested in putting your chart repository on the Helm Hub, please see the About section on Helm, uh, excuse me, hub.helm.sh. It's a little hard to say. And if you're thinking, hey, this is a pretty sweet UI, maybe I want to deploy this for myself or my internal org or something, um, check out the Monocular project, which is under the Helm GitHub org. Congratulations to this team. Thank you so much. I just want to give a shout out to Adnan from Bitnami and Matt Farina from Samsung. They have done a fabulous job of leading and implementing this effort. Thank you. We also just released Helm 2.12. We call it the eggnog edition. 2.11 was called the pumpkin spice latte edition. The Helm team thoroughly enjoys holiday beverages. 2.12 included lots of bug fixes and some feature additions. We continue to maintain Helm 2.2 stability as we furiously work on Helm 3. With Helm 3, we're moving to a client-side architecture. This will enable more granular permissions models and lay a solid foundation for auditing. Helm 3 will also provide a developer-centric SDK for integrating with Helm. 
In Helm 3, we're also working to provide a way for people to implement chart hooks in Lua. This will provide a framework for those of you who are trying to do something a little outside of the box when it comes to uh, deploying your applications and working on workflows. But those of you who don't need all that can still use the same great chart format and uh, go templating as you've been using that. Helm 3 is in active development. Check out the Helm Deep Dive session happening Thursday at 4.30 for more information and discussion. And if you're new to Helm, there is an introduction to Helm session happening today at 4.30. Chart Museum is a sub-project of Helm. It's an open source Helm chart repository server with support for multiple cloud storage backends. The latest release includes token auth support. We're in the process of planning a Helm summit in Europe sometime in the first half of 2019. Check out our blog post um, or our blog for more information. There should be a post coming up soon. And if you want to get more involved, check out the Helm community repo for more information on our Slack channels and our weekly developer, developer calls. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you all have a wonderful conference.